Hi friends, it's Miss Tara from the Community Library and this is my son Vincent, my big five-year-old baby and we're gonna do, this is this week's version of Baby Story Time and we wanted to read a few more board books with you and share a few more songs. Okay, so just like we do in the library, which I miss seeing you guys every week with your beautiful babies and kids coming, we sing songs together. I miss that so much. Uh, we're going to uh, sing the hello song from our, from uh, with you guys at home, okay? So let me see those hello fingers, hello fingers, okay? Let me look big. Hello, 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 hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Alrighty, friends. So Vincent picked out our books today, and the first book we're going to read is called Harold and the Purple Crayon, and it's by Crockett Johnson. One evening, after thinking it over for some time, Harold decided to go for a walk in the moonlight. There wasn't any moon, and Harold needed a moon for a walk in the moonlight. He needed something to walk on. He made a long, straight path so he wouldn't get lost, and he set off on his walk, taking his purple crayon with him. But he didn't seem to be getting anywhere on the long straight path, so he left the path for a shortcut across the field, and the moon went with him. The shortcut led right to where Harold thought a forest ought to be. He didn't want to get lost in the woods, so he made a very small forest with just one tree in it. It turned out to be an apple tree. The apples would be very tasty, Harold thought. When they got red. So he put a frightening dragon under the tree to guard the apples. It was a terribly frightening dragon. Do you think of that a frightening dragon? No. Were you scared of that dragon? No. When you were a baby? No. It even frightened Harold. He backed away, his hand holding the purple crayon shook. Do you think is that a pretty scary dragon? No. You don't Not think he's scary? No. Not to me. Now you're five. When you were a baby, you might have been scared. No, I was not. But Suddenly he realized what was happening. But by then, Harold was over his head in an ocean. He came up thinking fast, and in no time he was climbing aboard a little boat. Wow. He quickly set sail, and the moon sailed along with him. The moon. Look at the book, bud. After he had sailed long enough, Harold made land without much trouble. He stepped ashore on the beach, wondering where he was. The sandy beach reminded Harold of picnics, and he thought the picnics made him hungry. So he laid out a simple picnic lunch. With maybe pizza. Maybe. Let's see. We're about to eat, find out what he's going to eat. There was nothing but pie. But there were all nine kinds of pie that Harold liked best. Oh, what a yummy picnic. It's a pie picnic. Ooh, I wonder what it would taste When Harold finished his picnic, there was quite a lot left. He hated to see so much pie go to waste. Cause he made, he drew nine pies. He couldn't eat nine pies himself. Here, look at the book with me, bud. Oh, that's not good. Look at the book with me, please. Okay. So Harold left a very hungry moose and a deserving porcupine to finish it up. And off he went looking for a hill to climb to see where he was. Harold knew that the higher up he went and farther he could see, so he decided to make the hill into a mountain. If he went high enough, he thought he could see the window of his bedroom. He was tired and he felt he ought to be getting to bed. He hoped he could see his bedroom window from the top of the mountain. But as he looked down over the side, he slipped, and there wasn't any other side of the mountain. He was falling in thin air. See, he didn't get a chance to finish drawing his mountain, so that's why he slipped. He should make an air balloon. But luckily, he kept his wits and his purple crayon. He made a balloon, and he rammed onto it. I was right. And he made a basket under the balloon, big enough to stand in. Yep, you were right. 
I'll move that so he's safe after all. He had a fine view from the balloon, but he couldn't see his window. He couldn't even see a house. So he made a house. Yep, he made a house with windows, and he landed the balloon on the grass in the front yard. None of the windows was his window. He tried to think where his window ought to be. He made some more windows. He made a big building full of windows. He made lots of buildings full of windows. He made a whole city full of windows, but none of the windows was his window. He couldn't think where it ought to be. He decided to ask a policeman. The policeman pointed the way. Harold was going anyway, but Harold thanked him. And then Harold made his bed. He got in it and drew up his covers. The purple crayon dropped on the floor and Harold dropped off to sleep. The end. You, you picked out this book when, mm -hmm. when, about two years ago when Vincent was about three years old. He wanted to read this book. And it's, we keep, it's such a, we're keeping it in his library because it's such a great story to read about imagination. And I wonder how many of you love the color purple as your favorite color out there at your house. Okay, so we're going to quickly do some rhymes. Okay, we're going to, um, the first rhyme we're going to do, what's the first rhyme you wanted to do? Well, we're going to do patty cake, okay? So no, I want to we're going to do patty cake first. No, then we're going to do teapot. Okay, we're going to do patty cake. Okay, so we need your hands. Okay, we're going to do, we're going to do, and we're going to join. Patty okay. cake, patty, patty cake. cake, baker's man. Please Just clap, bake mm -hmm. me a cake okay. as fast as you can. And we're going to roll mm -hmm. it and pat it and mark it with, you just take, mark a B in the middle of your, the palm of your hand, or you can put it with a V for Vincent or whatever your child's first name is, E for Emma or A for Anne, and put it in the oven for baby and me. Baby and me. Okay, let's do it again. So we go. We just, it's just clapping. It's just a, it's a, we're just gonna clap our hands. And so we're gonna saying, warm our arms and saying, just like, go like um, t think of the first letter of your baby's first name or use the B. And then that's it. So it goes. Pat a cake. Pat a cake. Baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it. And mark it with a B for baby, or a V for Vincent, or fill in whatever initial you want to do. And put it in the oven for baby and me. Yay! Okay, Vincent wanted to do teacup. The, the, I'm a little teapot next, okay? So with this one, if you have, for your babies, if you have um, a toddler at home and they're standing, they can stand up and do this. Or if they're just a baby and sitting, they can just, you can put their... They're going to turn into a little teapot. So you can just put their arm on your hip, the arm on your hip, on their hip. Okay, and it, go, it goes like this. It goes, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here, show me handle. Here is my handle. Show me your stout. Here is my stout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. You know, tip over. Tip me over and pour me out. Let's do it one more time, okay? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my stout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Just tip me over and pour me out. Nope, that's it. Awesome. Okay, we're going to do one more rhyme before we say goodbye. We'll do a tickle rhyme. Teddy bear, teddy bear. What's that? What's your teddy bear? Oh, Vincent loves the, the round and round the garden like we did last week. Okay, we'll do that yeah, one. Or running. Round and round the garden. Okay, that one we'll do. Okay. Round and round the garden. Okay, that one. We did it last week. It's a tickle rhyme. Find your belly button. Go round and round the garden. Go Close the teddy, teddy bear. bear. Then you go one step, two step, tickle under there. And you tickle under their chin. You just for those. One more time. Yep. You find their belly button and you just circle their belly button and you go one step. Two step and you take them out of the gym. Round and round the garden goes the teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle under there, tickle under there, tickle under there. <laughs> you're cheating. <laughs> you're cheating. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, let's do what we're gonna do if you're happy. You wanna do here five little monkeys or if you're happy and you know it. You get to decide before we say goodbye. Five little monkeys? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's good because you're a monkey. Let's do it. Okay, no, look, look, instead of, oh, instead of jumping, look how I use my fingers to jump. We're gonna use our, I'm gonna use my fingers to jump, okay? I'm gonna use my five fingers. Okay, we're gonna do fingers to jump. I know. And we're gonna start. Let me see five fingers. Let's see. Show us your five fingers at home. Five little monkeys jumping, jumping on, on the bed. bed. One, One fell off and bumped, bumped his head. head. Mama called, called the, the doctor, doctor and the doctor said, "No more monkeys jumping on the bed." Okay, so we had five, and so this is a good. This is a good counting. Four. Line right. This is learn how to subtract. Four, so, right. Four little, little monkeys jumping on the bed. bed. One, One fell off and bumped his head. Mama, Mama called the doctor and the doctor, doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. bed. We had four. We took one away. What did we have? How many left? Three. Three little, little monkeys jumping on, on the bed. bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. So we had three. Two. Two. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Yay. No more. Okay, that one won't be because it's long. That last one. We'll do that one. What is that? Okay, this is a good takeover. I'm gonna do open, shut them, and we're gonna say goodbye. Okay, and this one we're gonna just take your hands like this and close them like this. Open, ben, shut, shut them. them. We're gonna clap our hands. We're gonna put your hands on your lap, and then you're gonna find your child's belly button, and you're gonna keep your hand all the way up to your chin, and then tickle them under your chin. Okay. Okay, it goes like this. It's called open, shut them. Open, open shut, shut them. them. Open, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Place them in your lap, lap, lap. Okay, find your belly button. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. Oh, they're cheating, they're cheating again. Do not let them in. <laughs> and that, my friends, is open. Can I do it one more time? Oh, we're good. It's too long. Okay, okay we're going to do it once. We're not going to repeat it because it's for length of time for the video. Okay, we're going to say goodbye. We're going to do our goodbye song now. Okay? Yay. We're going to say we'll goodbye. Our, we're going to do our teddy bear song. So pretend you're a teddy bear. We're going to do a, turn you into a teddy bear. Okay? And all you guys at home, you're teddy bears. Okay, so just do what I okay, do what I say, okay? We're gonna do this is gonna be our goodbye song. So we go teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Turn all the way around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoes or your bare feet or oh look at those dirty feet. Teddy bear, teddy bear, give a jump a try, give a big jump. Okay, teddy bear, teddy bear. I love you. Can you give yourself a hug or your, your mommy a hug? Okay, thank you. Thank you. And then, teddy bear, teddy bear, turn your hand. Teddy bear, teddy bear, hold your hands high. Put your hands high and say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Snap, turn into the Snap, turn into the teddy bear. Snap.